Okay. So here is my laundry room or mud room. I absolutely love, love, love these windows. Um, these cabinets are dark. See, I started sanding that one. Um, yeah, these cabinets are so dark and I have a little shelf here. If you saw the original tour video, you know, this cabinet is pretty big. Um, my washer and dryer, which is only four months old, went out. <clears throat> it's stackable. So, um, yeah, it's on back order. Hello, COVID. Um, but what I'm going to do is I am going to start with uh, sanding some of these. are not original to the house they're probably you know circa 1970s so um they're made really well but yeah i think i'm gonna just i think i'm gonna <laughs> i think i'm just gonna paint them because this is just bad uh yeah it came the house has a lot of poison in it i don't know how to properly destroy that but i think i'm gonna start with uh sanding I've got some TSP, which is what I always use to clean. So we're going to be wiping down and sanding this and putting on a base coat. Okay, we're trying for the proper headgear here. <laughs> ah! And here we go. Get out of my eyes. Ugh. a light sanding and the reason that I'm just giving this a light sanding is because this um, is so old that the uh, you know when you're doing a video and you can't remember the words <laughs> this is uh, so old that that the um, stain the poly on the top is really very thin. It's not, um, it really doesn't have any shine to it. And it's, uh, I don't think with using the um, primer that I'm gonna use that it's gonna be that big of a problem. I'll show you what I always use. Um, Y'all maybe have a more favorite one. I use this uh, Zenser primer. Um, it's done really well on the stuff that I have done that is uh, acrylic, uh, not acrylic. Um, it's worked really good on the stuff that I've done that's enamel and I'm putting acrylic over it. Um, no problems with it bonding and staying. So this is my go-to. I am um, I just don't want to have any globs, but after this, I'm going to sand it down again. Um, I will. I did um, invest in some really good paint. Sherwin-Williams, I think, is what I ended up with. Specifically for cabinets, I have used it before. 
I'm gonna tell you it was probably like $60 a gallon. Okay, I have now become obsessed with leaving the doors off on this. I I don't know. It just, um, <laughs> I was going to sand them, and I love this kind of open. So, yeah, I started painting it. Of course, you see this first one is just, like I said, it's my glue. So, it's not, um, I sand it down again, so it's not really my, um, gonna be my finished product so I just kind of get it on there any which way I don't know maybe y'all are perfect about this anyway so I go to um, get the paint rollers because that is gonna be the easiest and smoothest way to do this and every paint roller I have is gone uh, even the, the little handle thingies that they you put them on gone um, I, I don't have any explanation. I've looked everywhere for this, but y'all know my house does this. Um, so, uh, yeah, I'm doing it the hard way and the long way. I'm going to have to put three or four coats on this. Uh, so I will be busy for a while. So we're going to take some tomatillos. Right, so let me cut this part out. So you can see a tomatillo is not like a green tomato. It looks like one, but uh, yeah, the inside does not. So it did make a green frothy mess. So yeah, I guess that did work. All right. Okay, that does make a puree, if you can see that. <laughs> but the next thing I'm gonna use is this cilantro and I'm not cutting it up, I just washed it. I'm using stems and all because I love cilantro. Yeah, the makers of this product probably dying if they see how I'm doing this. But you know what? Uh, I'm not used to a bullet, so there you go. Now I've got my dark green juice, which is just the cilantro. Uh, yeah, take a look at that. We're going to put it in with the tomatillos. Okay, and then I'm going to do some onions and garlic. Um, really just do it to taste. I'm going to put in about one onion and then uh, one garlic and we'll start blending again. Okay, you know, well, I was just recording away and apparently nothing got recorded. Uh, so here, I'll just kind of go over this. I've got some, after the tomatillas, I put in an onion, three cloves of garlic. I may add, add some more. Here's some salt. I took two cans um, and I just used the cheap version crushed tomatoes but I did put them in the bullet also and uh, yeah the one thing I forgot was jalapenos so um, give me just a second and we're gonna put some cayenne in here red pepper I, I don't have any flakes I don't think but let's see we want to make this good and spicy Oh, Lord. I don't know if we're going to be able to eat that. That is a lot of cayenne. All right, give me a few minutes to blend it, and then we'll be back. 
Okay, so I kind of made a mess pouring it in there, and it looks more brown. It's because of all of the green tomatillos. Oh my gosh, it is so good. Um, I love the correct blend of tomatoes, onions, garlic, cilantro, tomatillos. Uh, absolutely great and just hot enough. So yes, the cayenne works. I literally, this time I'm using flour. A lot of people, um, a lot of people use the corn. I personally do like the corn better. I'm doing some of these. But flour makes a very interesting um, tortilla. It's, it's just different. So I'm going to do some flour. Basically, I'm just going to cut these crossways into six and then make them uh, just the size that I want them. All right, and this is how I'm going to test my oil. Yeah, there you go. When you get a nice little uh, thing like that. All right, we're going to set... The basket in here. Let's see what happens. Oh yeah. Okay, now it's maybe been another minute. Um, and yeah, they get. Uh, I just flipped them around. I like mine pretty dark, uh, especially with flour tortillas because they're thicker. Um, I don't know. I just like mine, and I'm weird because I kind of like burnt food anyway, but I'm not going to burn this. Uh, at least if I do, it's not going to be on purpose. Okay, so I threw those in the pan, and um, I've still got salted them. Here's our salsa. <laughs> it's kind of a mess in here. The salsa is pretty thick. I could add some water to it, but I kind of like thick salsa because it doesn't drift everywhere. All right, back to painting. All right, and the sun is starting to go down, but maybe you can see this is the brush coat I had to do. And it actually, there's so much detail on this camera that it uh, picks up way more than the naked eye. So it's way more smooth. Um, gotta love iPhone. Uh, <laughs> but anyway, yeah, so I did find a roller after I had already painted it. So I'm gonna roll it out again and just put enough coats on here until it's done.